Hi guys, my name's Gary. I'm a UK eBay reseller based in the southwest of England. Um, today I thought I'd show you a few pickups I made. Um, I've had a little thought and I think pickups I'm still going to release in small videos because I think I can do them quickly because it's, it's just play it, edit it and, and send it on, no adding anything into it. So I might keep these as they are and just upload them when I, whenever I can with no real schedule to them. But um, sales are still going to be happening uh for a week's worth of sales in a compilation makes it easier uh coincidentally actually friday it's good friday today uh friday's sales have actually been pretty good i think i've got eight sales today or something um so um let's get on to the video so pickups yesterday i was uh i was looking through facebook market and i saw a listing for a free amplifier and so i messaged straight away without really looking at it so it was jvc and jvc's a pretty good brand I said, yeah, I'll take it. So it was about a half hour drive, not far. And I uh, went over to pick it up. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll show you what I got. So this, this is what I got. Um, this was all free. I uh, got to the guy's house. Apparently, I think he said his, was it his uncle had died? No, his dad had died. And he was just getting rid of stuff from the house. And it, it did look like that. He was in the house and it was just like a bomb. At it. It, it was It was just stuff everywhere. So... Um, yeah, he just, he gave it away. He, he knew I was going to sell it on. He just wanted rid of it. So, uh, yeah, I was more than happy to take it off his hands. Uh, apparently he's played it all and it's all working. If it is great. If it isn't, well, I still make money, so I'm not too bothered. Uh, so first off we have the, uh, was it the JVC AX V4? Uh, AV integrated amplifier. Quite a nice one, actually. Old boy. Um, with its remote... And as long as that's all working, I'm looking at about £50 plus shipping for that one. Uh, next up, we have the cassette deck. Uh, prices were a bit all over the place on this one. I'm not 100% sure, but it's uh, the TDW218. If that one's working uh, without needing belts or anything, that ranges from 35 plus shipping to 50 plus shipping. Uh, I think I even saw one for 100 plus shipping. So I'm not too sure. I'll have to do a little bit more research. But first things first, I'm going to make sure it's all tested and working and make sure that's all good first. Uh, then we have a Philips, I think it's a CD, CD6610 slash 25 or something like that. Um, I'd have to have another look because it's not on the front, I don't think. Um, yeah, uh, this one, not very much. Uh, £25, maybe £30. Uh, I got all the instructions. So... That's a nice added bonus. Uh, these three surround sound speakers at the top, I'll clean them up. Uh, none listed on eBay at the moment, but they should go pretty good. Let's see what wattage they are. So 30 watts, 8 ohms. What's the center speaker? Uh, 50 watts, 8 ohms. So yeah, it should be should be pretty easy once I clean them, give them a brush off and wipe them down and stuff. Uh, I don't know, even if I only get £20 for the three, I'll be pretty happy with that. Uh, these speakers are quite nice. Uh, I don't think the grills... No, I don't think the grills remove, uh, which isn't great, but uh, I will listen to them and make sure that they're all right. They also have the speaker stands, uh, which I think, assume has just literally just come off the wall straight away. Uh, so yeah, uh, again, not really sure on them. Uh, 20 to 30 plus shipping on them. So, yeah, not bad for free. And then while I was out there as well, I also went to have a look at a couple of char charity shops because it was in Chippenham. Chippenham charity shops, usually very expensive. Usually. It's stupidly priced, actually. It's it's quite annoying to go there because you do see some nice things. Um, I think in the first charity shop I went in, I saw a lovely Hugo Boss suit jacket. Um, and it was 18 pounds and I was willing to pay that because I thought I could get by looking it up I reckon I could have got 65 pounds I reckon for it checked it all over looked good and then I get to the till and as I put it down and pay I see a hole halfway up the arm I don't know how the hell I must have just sort of scuffed as he was walking by something uh so i i put it back i wasn't having that um not for not for 18 pounds if it was only sort of four or five pound fair enough i could probably fix it but not for 18 uh but i did pick up one two three four items so i will show you them uh first off picked up a just a harry potter book uh, i think this is the first edition so look uh, yeah first edition 
I think the later ones actually have it stamped in them. So, yeah, that'll just go into the Harry Potter, Potter book set. So, what are we up to now? We're up to Fantastic Beast, The Cursed Child, Prisoner of Azkaban, and The Order of the Phoenix. Uh, the last two are first editions. I don't actually know about these two. So yeah, I'm still building up a set there. They'll probably go up around Christmas anyway, so I'm not too bothered if they just sit there. Uh, right, so first off, I have this data bank. Had. Um, come here, you little bugger. 290... Yeah, 290... Oh, not work. I did not see that. Well. Which batteries do they take, I wonder? Well, what we will do is we will check the batteries on that because it's a quite a nice unit. I'll check the batteries and I'll have to stick a clip in after I've looked through everything here. Uh, this one here is a language uh, IC card. So uh, £2.99 again. I think I'll probably get about £15 for this all in. So it's not too bad. This one here is a um, iPhone dock. It's got a weird connection though. So I don't know how exactly I'm going to test this because the connector for it is is really strange. Oh, right. Yeah, it's one of uh, one of these ones. I haven't actually come across one of them before, so I don't. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to test it or what it would even connect to. To be honest. Uh, yeah, I might, some people might be scoffing at me saying, oh, what kind of reseller are you if you don't know what connection that is? But I can, I can honestly say I don't think I've come across that before. So um, I will try to find a way to test it. Uh, I assume I have Yamaha amps and stuff still. I think I do. So I'm hoping one of them has one of the ports, if, if that's the case. Um, I think that was 4 99 and that will sell for 15 to 20 so it's not great but uh, and this one here if this one's all working again about 15 pounds so i mean if it isn't working it's only 2.99 i have batteries galore so i'm not too worried um i can i can chuck some batteries in that and test it uh which i'll probably do in a second uh yeah i'll do that now actually okay and this one looks to be working it was just a uh 20 2025 battery two of them uh, i've only put the one in at the moment so i just left it off while testing it as a backup battery and a main battery really good design actually um so yeah this one looks to be if i click it yeah, private scheduled time yeah, everything looks everything looks good so right um so yeah um that's just a quick show of what i've got so i'm gonna get ahead and get on testing it's a quick interject Seems to be working good. I'm going to cut this off before copyright cuts in. Um, oh, update on the teak down there. Uh, this is the one I paid £40 for on eBay. I went and picked it up. Um, I've actually got it, and um, yeah, it wasn't working correctly. Uh, one of the channels was, um, uh, the speaker channels, it was just so quiet, I couldn't hear anything. So I basically I contacted the guy and I informed him and everything, because originally I got told that it might have a slight crackle when you turn the volume knob. And uh, he's refunded me the money, and he doesn't want the unit back. So uh, that'll go up as spares and repairs now. Uh, I'll clean it up a bit, put a security tag over it, and spares and repairs. And I've got the forty pound back, so I probably put it out for about forty or fifty pound. Uh, I need to look at it again, uh, just to double check. But yeah, so <laughs> that's that's something. Uh, also, these shoes. Don't know if you guys saw in a uh, in in one of my little YouTube shorts. I put a pair of white-ish shoes in together and one of them came out with the soles off. Well, these ones, however, these Nike Air Force ones, actually cleaned up not too badly. I know, I know, I shouldn't put them through the washing machine and all that, but sue me, I'm lazy. I, I had other stuff going on at the time and I couldn't be bothered. So yeah, put through the washing machine and when they got out, I just uh, wiped them off over with a bit of cream cleaner. And then I've got some trainer sort of stuff, which I'm going to put on it to moisturize the leather a bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. That's not too bad. A little bit annoyed about the laces because I did actually clean them. They were in the washing machine as well, but they still came out a bit. Blech. But overall, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not perfect. I, mean, I don't know what the hell has gone on there. Overall, these should be all right, especially uh, considering I only paid three pounds for them. Uh, what else? Um, 
I think this camera I've got a uh, cable coming for, three pounds. This one I haven't looked, I think this one, the cables. The cables, the batteries, everything about it is expensive. So I think this one might be going parted and spares and repairs uh, on everything. Uh, I know the battery charger works, which will get me back probably about 20 pounds just on a battery pack. Um, sorry, the battery charger. And then I'll probably sell this with the battery on its own. Um, with the box maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, um, I want to clear this sh these shelves uh, for car boot sales Sunday and Monday because something tells me I might need a bit of space. So I want to have the bottom row, this row, this row, and this row completely cleared. So that means I'm going to list these last few glasses. i got some clothing behind, which I want to list. Uh, and, yeah, there's a few little bits there. So that's the plan now. We're going to get that done, get all this tested now and um hopefully everything's working and everything's good uh get things photographed get things listed and get things out so uh yeah um yeah this one's coming out as an individual video so i'm not gonna send you on to the next one i'm just gonna say uh like and subscribe comment if you have any questions uh yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what else to say. Um, cheers. Hi guys, my name's Gary. I'm a uh, eBay re uh, <laughs>